child sexual abuse. Neglect. Physical abuse. Physical abuse can be pattern injuries on child's bodies. Emotional abuse. Safeguard from abuse will teach you how to spot it. It's hard to imagine, but it happens everywhere. Churches provide opportunities for close contact with kids. If you have burns or bruises on different parts of your bodies that are not over bony prominences are also concerning too. So kids who have bruises on the inside part of their arm, on the inside part of their legs. Predators looking for their next victim. A sexual predator can slip through that door very easy as a volunteer. They adapt. They often find jobs that put them near children. Those who work with or volunteer with kids need to know what the predator looks like and how he or she operates to lure kids in. Coaches, teachers, youth group leaders, um, people who are in positions of trust, clergy. Most abusers, no matter what form of abuse it is, are people who are well known to that child. It really happens everywhere. Unfortunately, there are people in positions of trust with our children who violate that trust. Internet predators, the new stranger danger. Are our children safe communicating with coaches, teachers, youth ministers, um, ballet, soccer, you know, all those different types of coaches? Is it appropriate to have a digital communication relationship with that person? Online predators lure children out of their home into their world by a process we call grooming. So, how can we prevent abuse? We as adults in position of trust with children have to arm ourselves with this knowledge. And that, I think, is major in the prevention of sexual abuse. Educate children on, on what's out there. Talk about abuse openly within your organization. We are aware of sexual abuse. We are aware of problematic behavior. We will stop that before it happens. By saying that and you know, letting the employee know that you have an organization that is completely aware of that and is set up and has preventative measures for that, the sexual offender is less likely to act out in this organization. They'll go find someplace else that doesn't have this kind of atmosphere. Parents, teachers, volunteers, aunts, uncles, friends of parents can all protect these children better by getting involved, communicating with the child. Learn more about accidental injuries and how to prevent them. In many kids, what seems like an innocent fall may actually result in a fracture, so I always encourage people to think, you may be a sprain or strain in an adult, but you really have to be worried about fractures many times in young athletes or kids that are active. Strong and effective child protection policies that include continuing education for volunteers and staff have been found to be very helpful. We have had people very, very respected and held in very high regard in the community that submerge themselves in youthful activities so that they can have a larger victim pool. Education is key. Be a part of the solution. Safeguard from Abuse video is about one hour in length, split up into four parts. The 20 question test will take about five to 10 minutes to complete and with an 80% or better, you've passed. Print your certificate of completion and have more confidence when working with kids. The cost is only $12.95 per person viewing and taking the test, but talk to us about group discounts. Please visit our website at www.safeguardfromabuse.com. Be a part of the solution. Together, we can help keep kids safe.